on this episode of Bass to Billfish. Peter Miller is in Miami with the winners of Visit Florida's Ultimate Fishing Vacation Contest, Justin and Keith Eddins. Well, glad you're here, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys I appreciate could make the it. opportunity. With these two avid anglers ready for the bite, Peter and his Get Lit crew will stop at nothing to give this father and son the trip of a lifetime. To find this kind of stuff offshore is kind of remarkable. The vacation might be the ultimate. Get lit, basketball fish, what more could we ask for? But Peter plans to make it unforgettable. It doesn't get much better than that. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. For this episode, Bass to Billfish held a promotion with Visit Florida called the Ultimate Fishing Getaway. They had a contest to win a trip to Florida to go fishing with Peter Miller and Bass to Billfish. Out of anybody Justin could have picked to come with him to Florida, he picked his dad. Until people really get to know us, they don't really realize just uh, what a close bond we have. We fish all the time, we're together about every day, uh, we're pretty tight. How you doing? Nice to meet you guys. How you Good doing? to meet you. Yeah. It was like I was nervous and after we met Peter, he was just laid back down to earth and then he gave us the Bass Pro gift card. Bass, wow. thank, thank you. Shots. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, the boys are here. Yeah, we were walking through the store, we're looking at all kinds of tackle and we got to know each other. Super, super nice guys. Well, we've been trying to plan a trip down to Florida for probably the past two or three years. Yeah. And it was a good opportunity to get to know them even better and, and I had asked Keith about an accident that he had had. I think I told you, I almost lost my life in an auto accident two years yeah. ago. Yeah. And, uh, and we've always, since he was here, we've been on the salt water, we've been in the fresh water, been in the woods doing yeah. all that. After he got better, and we both said we was going to come to Florida and fish. We actually said this year for my first, my 50th birthday, we're no coming way. to South Florida. It just so happened we're down here with Bass to Billfish now and living our dream of coming to Florida fishing. This is a big deal for me and him to be able to do this together. Well, glad, you, glad you're here, man. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you guys I appreciate could make the opportunity. It. Yeah, I'm glad you're uh, still with us, too. Jeez. So we wrapped up at Bass Pro Shop to get ready for the next day's fishing adventure. One of the really cool things about South Florida is that we have some exotics, which are the peacock bass. The guys had never caught a peacock bass. We showed up on the dock that day and Peter came up in a new 17-foot yellowfin. You know what the plan is, right? Bust some peacocks. That's right. I had just gotten a brand new 17 yellowfin with a 60 mercury on it my Ray Marine and my power pole. And you know, to be on that boat for the first time with these guys was really neat. We hadn't fished a yellowfin before and for us to, to get out and be on the water and be with him and you know, it, first place we stopped, we were on the fish. So it, uh, it made for a good day. We employed a couple of different techniques of fishing for the peacock bass. I decided to go with artificials and I wanted to give them shiners to make sure that they got their bites. The peacocks did not disappoint. I mean, we put the baits in the water and we were hooked up within the first two minutes. Got them on. Oh, uh, I wonder what this is. What could it be? Oh, a little large, large mouth. Large mouth. All right, a little large mouth. We'll take it. All right, guys, we're starting out small. The water clarity in that lake was just amazing. It's crazy how clear this water yeah, is. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, you could see forever and uh, be able to look down and see those peacocks shining in the water and just throw your bait right down there beside of them. That was awesome. <laughs> when you catch a new species for the first time, you're kind of into it. And these guys got real quiet. They had the tips low and they were whining. Let me know if you guys are getting bites. Don't get all quiet on me. I want to know what's going on. Dad looks like he's ready to set the hook. I know that move now. I, I've been watching him. He does a little side step. I'm, I'm on to you, Keith. They're real secretive about setting the hook on the fish. 
Get him. Get him. All right. To set that hook and the fish was a little bit more aggressive and wanted to take that quick run and go away and big head shake. You wearing me hey, out Hey, what's now? going on here? You're dragging uh, the boat. I know that. You're pulling us inshore. <laughs> step to the front for lessons, boys. Yep. Step to the front for lessons. All right. Once you get the fish out of the water, you're sitting there holding something, you know, that it's just real bright in colors, so that's a cool deal. All right, brother, turn it on. I can't let you outfish me. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Oh, first cast with a jig? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice largemouth. We'd had the baits out, and we get this explosion. 50 dolphin here, guys. They're eating you up right now. You're on, Pete. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. Peter Miller is in South Florida with Justin Eddins and his father Keith. This is a big deal for me and him to be able to do this together. After meeting at Bass Pro Shops, Peter has taken them fishing for peacock and largemouth bass. Step to the front for lessons, boys. Yep. Step to the front for lessons. <laughs> now they hope to land a few more lunkers before heading out for a special nighttime activity. Back home, our lakes are out in the country. I mean, you got lake houses on them, but it's not like right downtown in the city. And uh, we was catching peacocks pretty good. Oh, first cast with a G? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice largemouth. Oh, wow. Truck double? What do you got, Justin? I ain't even seen it yet. Wait a second, how do we get a quadruple? We only got three guys. <laughs> what do you got, nice peacock? All right. We got a triple header going, guys. It was one of those memorable fishing days where we caught so many fish. It was just epic. back behind us and here comes a big rainstorm and it started pouring down rain and Peter kept saying just one more, one more. We continued to fish. The weather's been incredible all week and it has to rain on us now. Come on. After catching 20 largemouth, 20 or 30 peacock bass with these guys, we decided to just wrap it up because I had a big day planned the next day. So my assistant Kate and I went to go pick them up at their hotel. Here come our esteemed guests, Kate. Hey, P. <laughs> Guess what? What? We're going to the playoff games, Miami Heat, right now. <laughs> Miami Heat? <laughs> yeah, we're going right now. I've never been to a professional basketball game before. To have never been to an NBA game and then go to a Miami Heat playoff game, it's pretty epic. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let's, let's do it. All right, guys, I couldn't afford the seats on the floor, so we're sitting in the nosebleed, but listen, <laughs> you'll get the idea. Just the whole experience, all the people and everything taking place. And while we're in there, I shot some iPhone video, took a few pics, and they were just really happy. What do you think? Awesome. Good game. On day two, we had a fun day planned for them. There he is, Captain Quentin. Hey, Peter, how you doing? Come on, meet the guys. Quentin. Hey, Justin. This is Justin. Justin. Nice to meet you. How you doing, Captain Keith? Keith, nice to meet you guys. He was awesome. He came right up to us and made us feel very welcome. Oh man, we're excited. Get some black tunas, maybe some dolphin. Wow. Should be good. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds like a big day. Here's the man. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it. Sounds good. Right. Okay. Today, guys, we're going to be flying two kites, one on either side. It's only 20 pound test, so we only have about four pounds of drag on there. Similar to what we were using with a peacock right. bass, believe it or not. And then we have some spinners with mono for dolphin if they come by. If there's some tuna around, it's all mono. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
We had a bunch of bait here, but they weren't perfect. To go kite fishing, you need really frisky baits. You need fresh, fresh, nice, solid baits that can dig and stay down in the water. You want to get it kind of by that marker, and then you just want to switch it like gently. No sharp movements. We were able to drop some Sebeka rigs into the bottom and uh, worked up jigging some bait. There we go, everybody. Bring it in. <laughs> there it is. You did it. There's nothing better, guys. It all starts with bait. It's all the patience. Nice threadfin right here, everybody. We caught about two or three dozen threadfin herring to add to our bait that we already had, and we were able to make it happen. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. You get this explosion. Fish on the left short. We're in 150 feet, guys. He was on that fish, working it perfectly. Double header with the boys, double header. That's what you call dolphin fishing, boys. This is a dolphin festivus, guys. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer, Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Yellowfin, choice of champions. Laser Spine, the leader in minimally invasive spine surgery. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by FishingCapital.com. Peter Miller is in South Florida with his guests Keith and Justin Eddins. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. After catching largemouth and peacock bass, the guys head offshore in search of bigger game. There's nothing better, guys. It all starts with bait. Now, the group is ready to deploy their baits in search of tuna and dolphin. Who's ready to kite fish? Raise your hand. Once we got offshore, we started kite fishing, and uh, this was the first time that either one of us had started kite fishing. I kind of walked them through how we do it, how we deploy it, why we do it, the lever drags, the leaders, the circle hooks. So the idea here is to keep the bait. You see my corks? Uh -huh. Basically, it's my long, this is my middle, and this is my short. See, that's the short? Yeah. And then you want to kind of keep them just, you know, foot below the surface. So you just work from the middle out on distance. Exactly. You got it. We'd had the baits out for like 10 minutes, and we get this explosion on the left side. Fish on the left short. Walk the deep line across if you can. Justin perfectly drops back, starts whining on the fish. What do you think it is, Q? I don't know. It could be a bonehead. How's it feel there? Feels good. It just started pulling drag and taking line. Feel bigger than a peacock bass? <laughs> oh yeah, it's a lot bigger than a peacock, I believe. Must be a large mouth. <laughs> and I think all you did was enter a contest to win the ultimate fishing trip down to Florida, and here you are winding on a fish offshore in Miami. It's the ultimate trip, that's for sure. We're not sure exactly what it is. It goes out on the surface. It is kind of acting a little blackfin tuna-ish, the way it's saying on the surface. As soon as it went down, we thought, this could be a blackfin tuna. Uh, catching the tuna, it's like you'll gain a little bit and then it'll just take a whole lot more. Oh, look at that. You got a runner, huh? Taking a little line. He did a great, great job on the fish. Perfect. Never had any slack in there. Up and down. Buddy. How you doing, Justin? Doing good. Good. I love getting the anglers tired. Something tells me that Justin doesn't get tired very easily, though. Then eventually when he gets to the boat, it's kind of like he just sat there. I, it wouldn't let me get any more line on it. Just shortly after Justin made his hook up, we had a second bite. Right short, what's that? Is that tuna? Yeah, tuna. Okay. Drop him back on him. Here you go, Keith. The fish came out of the water. We knew right away what it was. It's a tuna. We got another tuna. He was on that fish, working it perfectly. Double header with the boys, double header. Sure enough, we got him on the leader, fingertipping him in. Oh, nice oh, tuna. tuna. And it's a 25 pound blackfin tuna, first bite. And these guys are looking at me like, you gotta be kidding me. Woo! Bro! Come on! First tuna right First there. tuna? Congratulations! First tuna. I've never caught a tuna before. That was an awesome experience. Good film. Look at that! Congratulations, dude. That is a nice tuna. When you work so hard to get people on fish, when you finally get that bite and you get that fish in the boat, it's the most rewarding feeling because this is what you're here to do. It's like touchdown. You know, you feel like you did it. Appreciate it, man. That was awesome. I love this guy. He's always saying how much he appreciates stuff. Yay! Double header tuners. How you doing, Keith? I'm great. 
He's gonna pinwheel one more time. And what you wanna do is you wanna kinda get him as they come up to the surface doing that pinwheel, that little spin. There you go, nice tuna. That's a nice one. Watch his head pops up. Hang on to your rod. Way to follow your fish, I like that. One more, here it comes. Nice. Nice stick. Nice Woo! tenor. Nice job, guys. Nice. Congrats, man. Black fin. It was good. I mean, we were able to work it hard. It worked us. Look at that. Nice fish. Now we have two 25-pound tuna. I'm like, yeah. Oh, man, that was unbelievable. They can have a double header going at the same time. Black fin tuna. Get lit. Baskerville fish. What more can we ask for? Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Quentin ran the boat over there, and sure enough, he's like, there they are. 50 of them. Right there, stop it. 50 dolphin here, guys. To find this kind of stuff offshore, it's kind of remarkable. We're gonna ski them to the boat? Yeah. I thought, this could be fun if we really go for this. One, two, three, four. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Salt Life, live life unanchored. FWC, there's only one season in Florida, fishing season. Motor Guide, engineered for anglers. Costa, see what's out there. After winning Visit Florida's ultimate fishing vacation sweepstakes, Justin and Keith Eddins have been fishing with Peter in South Florida. Now, Peter and crew are in search of dolphin to add to the tuna already in their cooler. Doesn't get much better than that. We started deploying the kite bait, and then we get another bite, and we don't know what it is. He's doing a good job. This guy's like butter. Silent but deadly, we call them. A good kind. It goes out on the surface and then it goes down. There you go, follow that baby. Sure enough, it comes up another 25 pound blackfin tuna. Catching the tuna, it doesn't really compare to a fish I've caught before. It's just like a little ball of muscle. Oh, another lunker. Oh, yeah. Good job, man. We're thinking, this is unbelievable. Everything's working in our favor. And Quentin says, you know what, why don't we run offshore and look for a big school of dolphin? This is the time of year where you're most apt to find them. So we ran about eight miles offshore. Me and some guys were sitting in the back of the boat and all of a sudden the boat stopped. And we found this beautiful weed line. We got a bunch of dolphin coming up in these, uh, in these weeds here. You can see all the birds working as well. Quentin ran the boat over there and sure enough he's like, there they are. 50 of them, right there, stop it. 50 dolphin here, guys. They're eating you up right now. You're on, Pete. It was game on. I would call it a melee. Look at them all down here. Yeah. It got crazy there for a while, but it was, it was cool. Big school, huh, Q? Dolphin City. Nice job. Oh. Good job, babe. Good job. You're on, Justin. At one point, I looked up, and we had five dolphin coming over, and there's dolphin everywhere. This is a dolphin festivus, guys. Back home, I seen dolphins schooled up, but not that many before. Oh, uh, yeah. We had a combination of some bailers where we were able to lift them to the back of the boat, and others we had to make gaffs on. Nice. Woo! Nice job, nice job. I mean, fish were flying in. It was kind of like understood that you were going to get slapped with a fish at some point. That's what you call dolphin fishing, boys. It was that fast and furious. God, I love fishing. You're allowed to keep 10 dolphin per person. But we don't really need to do that. If everyone gets three or four or five dolphin a piece to bring home at the end of the day, we're happy. I guarantee there was probably a hundred, if not more, just all in the back of the boat. I haven't seen this, this kind of uh, furious bite in a long time. When you look down and see the fish just under your boat, at your transom, it was just one of the most beautiful sights. And then I threw a bait in and caught one. Look at this, head out of the water the whole way, never swam, never swam. Peter wanted to have a little contest. Now we have a new game. I thought, we'll see how fast we can get them to the boat. We're gonna ski them to the boat? Yeah. Threw them out there and I hooked one. One, two, three, four, five. Swung them in the boat. Now, Justin, we have a new land speed record. Now it's your turn. Go. You gotta tighten your drag a little bit. There you go, you got him coming, you got him coming. I gave him three seconds before I started counting, granted. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven seconds to the boat. And we wound up, you know, just having a lot of fun with that. Just fish after fish after fish, coming to the boat faster and faster and faster. Peter's holding the record right now. All right, guys, good job. Good job, everybody. And that brings this episode of Bass to Billfish to an end, man. Great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Being able to go out on the Get Lit was an awesome experience. So, guys, what'd you think about Florida? I love Florida. Yeah? I'm ready to come back. <laughs> you don't fish like this in North Carolina. No? Florida's the place. This was their big plan for the father and son to come down to Florida. And when they got this call that here they are being chosen to be flown down and taken care of like we took care of them, they were kind of blown away and they thought it was just one of those things that was meant to be. It's been the ultimate fishing experience, that's for sure. You know, this, this trip sort of, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It exceeded my expectations way beyond. The one word that could describe it would be exceptional. Bass to Bill Fish and Peter, it's just, it, they've made it an awesome experience. Turn this baby around, head home, and clean some fish. How about that? When you first meet the guys, they seem stoic. But after you get to spend a little time with them, especially when we were on the Get Lit, I noticed that really, really strong bond between the father and son. I feel grateful to have been a part of it. The Bass to Bill Fish adventure continues. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for exciting updates, media, and contests.